Tampa Bay. Are you ready for All-Star Weekend? Welcome to the 2018 Geico NHL All-Star Skills Competition. Now, let's welcome the 2018 Pacific Division All-Star. Welcome the Pacific Division All-Star from the Vancouver Canucks, Brock Besser. From the Vegas Golden Knights. So we turn to the goaltenders and the shooters in this event. It's a new competition. Five goaltenders will face the players from a single division, and the competition is to see which goaltender can make the most consecutive saves. Know some guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think of this new competition? It looked like Henrik was pretty tired when that one was finished. Uh, yeah, well, he's probably one of the best at it. Um, he's, he's got great timing. Um, That's one. Looks like he got a little bit of help from a couple of guys who are do, trying to do too much. <laughs> now, Kerry, you probably have a book on almost every player. So I got to ask you about that save you made against Tampa because we're here. <laughs> the one on. Uh, on Andre Palat and Tyler Johnson, where you're channeling your inner Dominic Hasek? Uh, a little bit. I was pretty desperate at the time. Um, you know, obviously, uh, I wound up in a pretty bad spot after a glove save. And, and time now for the Geico NHL save streak. Each scoring attempt is officiated in accordance with NHL shootout rules. Each goalie, all five, will face all players from an opposing division. Players from each division will shoot numerically with the division captain shooting last. If the captain is stopped by the goaltender, goalie will continue to face shooters until the goal is scored. In the event of a tie, the winner will be determined by the total number of saves made in the round. So our second goaltender is Connor Hellebuck of the Winnipeg Jets facing Vancouver Canucks rookie Brock Besser who misses the net. And Besser electing to shoot, but not coming in with a lot of speed. And if you don't come in with a lot of speed, it just allows the goaltender to remain aggressive, and he fired it wide. The Pacific Division will continue to shoot. Brock Besser, who leads all NHL rookies in goals, he scores. Whoa. Lundquist maintains the lead with five consecutive saves. I'll tell you, he made uh, that look pretty easy. Brock Besser did came in and just picked his spot and snapped it over the glove of Connor Hellebuck. Well, we've already tossed out the styrofoam, and it's technology that has taken over, and there's an extra shot. So you'll still see eight players, some of the greatest shooters, most accurate shooters in the game, trying to hit the targets when they light up and as they light up but there's also a five hole which we haven't seen in this competition before so they start green and you've got to try to hit it in the three seconds that it stays lit to, to turn it red and just another element for the players to think of you know so often you go in your mind which one you're going to go at but now they got to react a little bit quicker so that might change the dynamics a little bit so one of the interesting things about this competition is with the younger guys coming into the game and the goaltenders playing the way they do now most guys shoot up top yep. can can they shoot the low targets as a kid we had a charity event where i put my equipment on in the summer raising money for the hospital in durham and james as a little kid came out to shoot on me he remembers it. I said, how did it go? He said, yeah, the puck kind of hit the cement, rolled around, and ended up behind me. So not very good. Here's Vancouver's Brock Besser. <laughs> 11 point one three. Yeah, he's, and he's moved into the lead. And Jimmy's been doing this since he was three years old out in the driveway. He said, Parents said it 10 to 15 times he's had to he'd hit the right target and the left target before he came in and he is really showing just what a special shot he has and great young player and stick taps from his teammates.
He's kind of got that ah, everything's okay cool as me looks but don't be misled. This is one hungry kid. He's dealt with some adversity in his life. Lost a close friend in high school. And his, you know you look at his first game in his hometown. He scores a goal. And again, no big celebration. This is just the way it should be. Tell me how that must feel having Sidney Crosby come over and sit down next to you in awe of what you just did. And he's been like that. We've watched him all day long, mingling with all of the players here. Spent a lot of time with Austin Matthews in the dressing room, and now an opportunity to rub shoulders with the best player in the game. And Glenn, don't you think that's a bit of that pay it forward, you know? Come on over, introduce yourself. You play out in the West. We don't see each other very often. You're brand new, but pretty darn impressive. Well, I said before the game, he was nervous. There you go. Well, I think Sid wanted to talk to Brock not only about the competition tonight, but they played a couple of times this year, and Brock has scored four goals, I think yeah. it is, against Pittsburgh, He's including a hat trick. Yeah. <laughs> so how are you doing that? And then, Glenn, don't you find that's always been the role of the great players in this league at this type of an event? They really take the younger guys like they did their first time under the wing and sort of spread some of that wisdom that comes from being one of the game's best. Now, there's no doubt. I mean, you've got to be a little starstruck. When you've got Crosby on the ice, you, you just have all the best of the best. I mean, you talked about it before uh, the, game, the the skills got going. It, it's it's just a great stories that these guys share. And, and Besser, a good example of just what a good kid he is. A uh, little girl wanted to go to the prom, wanted him to go to her prom. She has Down syndrome. And guess who went to the prom? Oh, this guy here captain material for the Vancouver Canucks he's clearly their future you, know, you start looking at some of the guys that they've got to, in the works for them they're going to have a good team for a long time Adam Gadet, Gadjevic, Di Pietro and Net that's your Demko things are good in Vancouver coming down the road wouldn't you like to see those two guys play on the same line yeah well, one of the rare technology glitches we've had in this skills competition, Jim. I think that last shot by Besser was just a little bit too hard. It broke the plastic on the outside of that top right. David. All right, Brock, uh, we're blaming you for this delay. It looks like you broke the uh, machine. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I don't know. I was just trying to uh, grip it and rip it and not, not think about uh, hitting the target too much. You showed no nerves there. I mean, my goodness, 11.13. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think my mentality coming into it was just uh, don't overthink if I miss one. Just keep firing away. How did you prepare for this? I honestly didn't prepare. Just, <laughs> just you know, show up and shoot the puck. One last thing. I see Sidney Crosby came over, wanted to make fast friends with you after that performance. What did he say? Yeah, he just introduced himself, and uh, we talked about it when we played each other this year. And uh, he was talking a little bit about when he played at Shattuck. So it's uh, it's pretty cool to meet him. That's pretty cool. Sidney Crosby's coming up to talk to you here at All-Star Weekend. Amazing stuff, bro. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, best of luck winning this event. Let's get it back up to Jim. Thanks, bro. Brad Marchand still waiting to shoot as the technicians try and fix the new technology in the accuracy shooting competition. A new shooter in the league has turned heads all through this season playing with the Vancouver Canucks, and now he is... Turned some heads at the All-Star competition as the best shooter of the bunch. And not even Sidney Crosby and Steven Stamkos could get the measure of Brock Besser in this event. Time now for the Honda NHL accuracy shooting. Each shooter positioned 25 feet from the goal line. The player will shoot pucks at five LED targets. No more styrofoam. A referee's whistle. One of the five LED targets will light up for three seconds. The player will attempt to hit the target. If it is not hit within three seconds, another target will light up, and time stops when a player has hit all five targets. Brian, the participants will be Brian Boyle, Blake Wheeler, James Neal, Brock Besser, Brad Marchand, Andre Kopitar, Sidney Crosby, and Steven Stamkos. He stopped 14 consecutive shots in the Geico NHL save streak. Here's Brock Besser, Vancouver Canucks rookie. 24 goals to lead all rookies out of the University of North Dakota. Four. Oh! Wow. Besser, the new leader. Well, if you saw the goal he scored in one of the shootout attempts in the... In the, in the 
save streak competition. You know that this guy can snipe. And even though he missed a couple, he was awfully quick at getting a, the next puck up. And that was key for him. But impressive stuff by the rookie right there. And Brian Boyle says, come on. The rookie beat me. Like Boyle, Besser needed only eight shots. Besser in the lead with four shooters remaining. What do you think is going through Besser's mind right now? Yeah, he's probably numb. I mean, he's like, wow, this is unbelievable. You know, I'm playing in an NHL All-Star game. I'm talking to Sidney Crosby. And don't kid yourself, guys that are young guys in this league, they still get starstruck around the stars of the game. They, until they're a couple years into it, they that's when they start to feel like they really belong and that they're here. This is all, you know, a surreal experience for a young guy like this who... You know, probably grew up idolizing some of these guys he's on the ice with right now. The key is, the sooner that you can get out of that off factor as a young player, the sooner you're going to have success in this league. And when you have an event like this and you do well and you feel like you're one of the guys, goes a long way into making you, uh, making you feel a part of it. And this is where the malfunction with that target came. Besser fired that puck in... Put a crack in the left portion of that target right there. So not only did he have the accuracy, but he had the velocity to, to break it. So good stuff there by Brock Besser. And this obviously is a little bit different this year. In the years past, they had styrofoam, uh, which is great for the guys. It made them feel like they were exploding the target, you know. Now it's, you know, a plexiglass covering uh, the target right there and but for Besser he's gonna feel pretty good I mean he put a crack in it it's like breaking a, a pane of glass and he is the new leader now to give some some extra time to chat with Sidney Crosby Brian Boyle had the lead until he was topped by Brock Besser Brian Boyle is with JR Besser has the lead at 11.136 he will not beat Besser. The rookie pulled it off. Wow. So 20-year-old Brock Besser of the Vancouver Canucks is the winner of the Honda NHL Accuracy Shooting. He is with the three-time winner of this event, Jeremy Roenick. Brock Pretty impressive. Rookie season, first All-Star game. Now you got your first accuracy shooting win. How'd that feel? Yeah, it, it felt amazing. Uh, my mentality going into that was just go up there and rip it and rip it. What was the hardest part of hitting those targets? Was it the shooting or waiting, waiting for the light to go on? Uh, I, I think it was just if you miss, don't, don't, don't think too much about it. Just uh, keep shooting, shooting the box and try and hit the target. You beat a lot of 40, 50, and some 60 goal scorers out there. How's it make you feel? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's it's pretty shocking. Um, you know, there's so many great players here, and it's uh, you know, it's a fun uh, thing to be a part of. So it's uh, I'm having a blast so far. Hey, congratulations on your first All-Star game and your rookie season. Congratulations, bud. Way to go. Okay. 20-year-old Brock Besser, the winner of the Honda NHL Accuracy Shooting, as he hit the five targets in just over 11 seconds. What a come from Tampa after these messages. And 101.1 later, he did. And how about Brock Besser of the Vancouver Canucks? Yeah, what an outstanding rookie season he has had. And you can see why. He's got one of the best shots in the league, one of the quickest releases. And he just beat out Brian Boyle. And a lot of us were cheering for Besser finds a way to get it done. And Boyle was great in his interview after. Yeah, he found a way to shatter that... Uh, that <laughs> The, the, the uh, target as well, Brian Boy, you can see the disappointment for him. But Brock Besser, what a performance for him. Let's take a look at the Budweiser skills summer, summary, and here you have it. All the results, all the guys going home with the grand prize tonight. It was an impressive evening of the skills competition. Jonesy, which one stood out to you the most? Well, the hardest shot didn't live up to expectations at 101.3. It was a win for Ovechkin. I thought the guys might blast it a little harder than that. The puck control relay with Johnny Gaudreau was pretty impressive. Tomorrow, the Honda All-Star Game. It is coverage beginning at 3.30 Eastern on NBC.
And coming up next here on NBCSN, it's an encore edition of the 2018 Geico NHL All-Star Skills Competition. For Keith Jones, Jeremy Roenick, Brian Boucher, Kenny Albert, and everyone working hard behind the scenes, I'm Catherine Tappan. We'll see you back here tomorrow afternoon.